Congratulations on choosing an Isabella Forum. We will now show you how to assemble the awning. You can help yourself by getting accessories like Aquatex and Hercules for the assembly. This job is easier when there are two people. Start by spreading your ground cover out in front of the caravan. You'll find it easier if you peg it to the ground. Lay all frame poles out on the carpet and place them roughly where they'll be used. See the instructions. Some of the frame parts need to be assembled before use. The draft skirt is fitted along the underside of the caravan. Place the white figure of 8 channel across the wheel. Now attach the wheel arch cover to prevent drafts coming into awning from underneath the caravan. The procedure might vary depending on the brand of caravan. You can spray Aquatex into the caravan awning rail to make it easier to slide the awning in. Now you can slide the canvas into the awning rail. Unfold the canvas and find the first end to be fed onto the caravan. This task is easier if one person is pushing and feeding the awning whilst the other person is pulling the canvas. The awning needs to be positioned so that the pegging elastics will be stretched enough to be tensioned when pegged. When the canvas is centralized on the caravan, the frame can be assembled. Start with the middle leg. That will lift the canvas to make it easier to assemble the rest. All fix-on brackets need to be mounted onto the canvas. There is a fix-on for each roof rafter pole. These are connected onto the special profile rail on the beading next to the caravan. Next, connect the middle rafter pole. This needs to be hooked into the fix-on and then connected to the middle leg. Please lock the bayonet in place by turning the pole 90 degrees. Place the middle leg into the regulator tab and adjust the height. Continue from the center to one side. Front corner legs need to be placed into the regulator tabs and adjusted for height. If the ground is uneven, the hole used in the regulator tab may not be the same on both sides. Check that the drop stops are correctly placed in the roof rivet when the canvas is put over the spike. Hercules is used here to tension the poles. The same Hercules can be adjusted for use on different dimensions of poles. Unzip the awning panel slightly for better tensioning. Tension all poles, start with the front, then the roof rafters. Use the Hercules by placing it on the thinner pole with the open handle at the base of the adjustment screw. In one movement, pushing the black handle upwards, you can get the best possible tension in the poles. Pull the awning canvas in the caravan at both sides to remove any wrinkles. Now the front section can be assembled. It is a mini version of the main part and the original processes are just repeated. Start with the front middle leg, followed by the roof ridge poles and then the front legs, using the regulator tabs. Remember to adjust the leg height to suit the ground as before. All canopy poles are then connected and tensioned. Pockets are sewn into the canopy for the front ridge poles. Your awning is now starting to take shape. In larger awnings, extra roof rafters are supplied for better stability. Please note the protective material around the clamp to protect your awning. You can choose your own layout for the awning. Here we show the forum with a half bay and use the partition panel. This works well with either the left or right panel forwards.
For the partition, zip into position across the top. Feed the white figure of eight channels at the top to connect the partition wall to the awning. Feed the long grey channel below to connect the partition wall to the awning leg. Feed the piping into the soft white tape channel across the roof in the middle. Thread on the two small grey channels and connect them to the roof poles. This will keep the roof tight to the poles. When all frame parts are tensioned, the awning can be pegged. Start with the rear corner at the caravan and then the front corner. Do the same in the opposite side. The draft skirt is pegged inside the awning. You can easily peg through the ground cover. Next, peg both side panels. It is important that there is tension in the awning. The peg elastics can be twisted twice around the pegs to make more tension. At all door openings, peg crosswise for the best tension even when the doors are open. Now the entire front can be pegged. Then peg the entire mud flap on the awning to get it tight. You can use the holes in the mud flap or the head of the peg to hold the edge of the mud flap. Now the curtains can be fitted. There are two sorts of clips. One, suitcases, to clip onto the rail above the window, and the other, wheels, fit the curtain rivets. Curtain tiebacks are supplied to hold the curtains neatly in place. You can decide yourself which side of the curtains you want facing inside the awning. Now for the floor inside the awning. In this case, we start with ground cover, then ground sheet, and then the bolon carpet. The ground sheet keeps water out, whilst the bolon carpet offers style and comfort. The bolon carpet can be folded into the corners for a perfect fit. We recommend Isabella roll floor for the entrance so that dirt doesn't get into the awning. Your awning is now ready for use. The veranda pole can be fitted between either side leg and the middle leg. Curtains should be laid out onto the pole so that the window does not lay directly on the frame. More information on maintenance and cleaning can be found at www.isabella.net.